Hello, fashion wonder. Do you have a casual dress that you can wear anytime as a date night outfit, or also as a mid-length dress for work? If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more essential DIY tips and refashion hacks. Let's get started. Before starting, iron the fabric so there are no creases. Fold the silk fabric in half and lay it flat. Next, fold your favorite cami top in half and lay on top of your silk fabric. Add quarter inch seam allowance along the armhole and neckline of your cami top. From the folded center front, measure 11 inch away and add half inch seam allowance and mark. Then, make a smooth line to connect the chest to the hemline and add half inch for seam allowance. Cut along your dotted chalk mark of your front dress pattern. Next, we are going to make the back piece. For this DIY silk slip dress, simply copy the side seams and hemline exactly the same as front piece. The neckline will be slightly different because it is straight across. Be sure you mark where you will attach the tight shoulder straps with fabric chalk. In addition, we are going to make facing for the front and back pieces. Copy the front and back pieces with the front piece being 8 inches long and back piece only 5 inch long. For the tie shoulder straps, cut 4 pieces that are 1 inch wide and 24 inches long. These will become your bias cut spaghetti straps using looped turner. Hem quarter inch for both the front and back facing piece. Next, lay out one strap for each shoulder and place it in between the front piece and the front facing. Then, secure the straps in place with pins before you sew. Sew quarter inch along the armhole and neckline only. You will do the same thing for the back piece. Lay out one strap for each shoulder and place it in between the back piece and the back facing. Sew quarter inch along the top of the dress only. Place the right side of the front dress piece and the right side of the back dress piece together facing each other. Then, sew the side seams together using half inch seam allowance and stop at the side slit chalk mark. On both sides, where the side slit goes, you want to leave the side seam open all the way to the hemline and top stitch around the slit about a quarter inch stopping at the hemline. Lastly, fold the hem twice about half inch width and then top stitch along the edge of the folds for both front and back hemline. Flip the dress inside out and adjust the tie straps on the shoulders by making a bow. With this simple and easy sewing tutorial, you learned how to make your own DIY silk slip dress with side slits. You can wear this dress anytime as a date night outfit or also as a mid-length dress for work. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share your cute DIY silk slip dress with me at Instagram Make with Fashion Wander. What is your favorite way to wear this DIY silk slip dress?